Oh, you know what? Before I continue with this, I need to announce a new invention that I just came up with yesterday. So, I was at church, and I was talking to an electrician, and I was telling him about my plan to run two-inch wide copper tape along the ceiling um, to run LED lights instead of having to cut into the ceiling and run uh, wiring. And he said, that's not up to code, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I know that, but do you think uh, it will pose any imminent danger, even though it's not the correct way to do things? In other words, yeah, if somebody sticks a nail in two spots at the correct spots, they could get zapped, but who does that, you know? And he didn't really have a clear answer about it. He wanted me to, I don't know, he wanted me to, like, show him pictures of it when I'm done. But, I don't know. But anyways, it just got us into this discussion about how every day he installs electrical and ceilings and stuff and then walls that are finished ceilings. And he just has this drill that can go up into the ceiling and then over up to four feet and drill through studs. Through just a little hole. It It's an angled drill thing. Or a drill bit that can bend and go long distances. Kind of like my flexible drill hose. Um, so I was like, that's a pretty cool tool. And then it gave me this idea, what if I created a robot that can drill holes through studs and pull the electrical wiring behind it and drill holes through the next stud, pull the electrical through that, continuing to drill. It would be shaped like a centipede with little centipede legs and it could turn and wind like a snake with little centipede legs and it would actually have on its rear end picture a snake with, with uh, electrical tape clipped into its rear end and it would travel through walls and ceilings pulling the electrical line through the walls and ceilings running the electrical line of finished walls and ceilings for redoing electrical and the electrician could see what it sees because it'd have a little flashlight on the front and a webcam on the front. And they could watch it on their smartphone and guide it. And just draw it through everything and run all the electric for a whole building all from their smartphone sitting in their truck drinking coffee. They don't have to be up on ladders and stuff. And he lit up. He was like, that, if you could do that, would be amazing. Like, he, he really thought it was a good idea. Now... He was concerned about the torque, that these drill bits have to be able to drill through old wood. And so I would just create either like a diamond bit, a grinding wheel type of drill, or uh, like a carbon steel with little, uh, well, like this type of drill bit as a grinder. It's just little notches, except I'd make a, a bigger one the appropriate size. Uh, the hole it needs to drill through the beams has to be big enough to fit the snake's whole body. So the drill head needs to be bigger than the whole robot's diameter. So picture a snake. The drill head needs to be a little bit bigger than the snake. And it will drill a hole through the stud. And then the snake can climb through the hole pulling the electrical line behind it. And so in this way, it can do all the electrical, all the walls, all the ceilings of an entire building making electricians not have to get on ladders or anything. No drilling, no nothing. You just make one little hole in the ceiling, send the robot in, and it will do all the electrical and all the ceiling. And there could even be a rental program for non-electricians who just want to redo the wiring in their basement ceiling or something. They could, uh, I could have a company where I just rent these out. So I'd send the robot out, somebody could do a, a single job and then send it back. And it would just save them a lot of time. Like a Kind of like uh, the Shark Tank things that they have where um, one of the episodes on Shark Tank, somebody came up with this company where little kids can order uh, toys every month or the parents would order toys for their little kids every month 
and they'd ship out the toys, and the parents would ship back their last set of toys for cleaning, and then that would go back out to the next customer. And so they kept a large inventory of different toys, so kids could have different toys, because kids get bored of toys after a while, and the parents wouldn't have to keep buying toys, they'd just rent toys. It was a toy rental program. So this would be a tool rental program, renting a robot for a specific job, and then sending it back when the, when the customer is done. That would just be somebody doing some electrical work for a room or whatever. So I thought that was a really cool idea, and I added it to my to-do list. Um, we could call it the Robot Centipede Project. And this centipede is just designed to drill holes and run electrical lines and ceilings and walls and save, car or save electricians a ton of work. And electricians would buy these and use them every day. And I'm sure they'd be willing to spend thousands of dollars because within a few jobs it would just pay off and save them so much time and effort. I didn't tell them it'd be completed by 2075, but it will for sure be completed after he's already retired. But at least he'll know that he was there when the famous invention was made. He got to witness it live. And if all goes according to plan, every idea and invention I come up with, I will put into action. You know, once I'm a multi-billionaire, I can put teams of people or teams of robots into all of these different projects, and they can go ahead and make it, so it doesn't matter. Plus, my future children, I can have them make some of my inventions, prototypes, and stuff like that. Piece of cake. Plus, I'll have my internship program. My interns can bring some of these ideas to life. It's going to be no problem.